Welcome to my channel everyone. Back at you today with another book review, this time on Sean Carroll's The Big Picture, on the origins of life, meaning, and the universe itself. Sean Carroll is a celebrity physicist, and you can see a lot of his works and lectures on YouTube. He does a lot of different debates, not only with theists, but with various other scientists. And he has his own podcast on YouTube with a lot of very interesting guests. I really like Sean Carroll. This is his take on life and the meaning of life and consciousness and how to create purpose for yourself uh, in this experience that we're all going through here, which is life. Carroll introduces and goes on about so many different philosophical themes in this book that I probably couldn't even mention them all if I tried to think through them. This is a very deep and intelligent and interesting book. Carroll has a very similar worldview and a very similar idea about the nature of life in the universe as I do. So I really related to a lot of the concepts that he brought up and addressed in this book. Carroll, in this book, coins the term poetic naturalism, which is a naturalist philosophy on life. And I really felt that this book was very informative, it was very deep, and it was overall a very well-rounded worldview, I felt. I really like a lot of what his ideas are, and I really like a lot of his lectures, too. You know, I really relate to this guy. In this book, Carroll grounds his philosophy on life and existence in physics, as he is a physicist. So he goes through a lot of physics concepts in this book, but he does so in a fairly a fairly simple way for the non-scientist mathematician to grasp. And I thought that he did a, a fairly good job, but I do have some critiques, uh, some fairly negative critiques about this book. I felt that in this book, Sean Carroll went on and on about some things. It felt to me that he was bringing some of the same concepts up over and over throughout the book. And it's a fairly long book. It's just short of 450 pages. So I felt that maybe this book could have been a little bit shorter if he wouldn't, if he would have maybe addressed some things once and not returned to some of them same concepts over and over again. Also, I felt that I was confused with some pieces and parts in this book. Overall, it's not a very confusing book. He tries to Keep it fairly simple here. This book is for the non-scientist lay person. But I felt that Carol in this book over, over described and over explained some things. It felt like he really went on and on about some of the ideas in this book. And then in other parts of the book, I felt that he under explained some things where he should have went a little bit more in depth, where he tried to go into a very complex idea in one or two paragraphs and I was rereading and trying to figure out where he was going with some of the topics in this book. I give this book a three-star review and it wasn't due to the lack of quality of what his ideas were in this book. I felt that I think that this guy has a lot of great ideas. And obviously a lot of other people do too, because he has a lot of followers. A lot of people love his lectures and side with him in his debates. He's a really intelligent guy, and I strongly recommend uh, watching some of his stuff. But, but I felt that this book was a bit confusing, and only in parts. The majority of it wasn't necessarily confusing, but I just feel that this book could have been more well written. I feel that maybe an editor could have cleaned things up, and I think that maybe maybe he should have went over it once more just to clarify and simplify some of the ideas in this book. So I'm giving it a three-star review, and although I'm not necessarily encouraging you not to read it, because I think that it was worth the read, I am not recommending this book. Sean Carroll's The Big Picture on the Origins of Life meaning, 
and the universe itself. I do not recommend this book, Three Star Review. And if you made it this far, please subscribe to me. It really encourages me when someone subscribes to go forward with these reviews. Thanks for joining me.